What the? By my reckoning, we're still on the island where the tower stood. But it is as if it never existed. Hardly a scratch. But how? Graha. Graha wove a levitation spell at the last moment. Large enough to catch everyone, it would seem. That explains the lack of obvious injuries. The expenditure of so much ether has taken its toll. He will need plenty of rest, but should otherwise be none the worse for wear. Good. Hey, Graha. Up at him, up and at him already, huh? Are we the last to arrive? I hope we've not kept you waiting. Not at all. Your comrade is feeling better, I trust. Much better, thank you. Harness remedies are certainly potent in more ways than one. One becomes accustomed to the taste, although I hope you never have cause to do so. Pray, take your ease. Full glad I am to see you all unharmed. single one of those scales came from you, didn't they? You must still be in such pain. Tis of no moment, a mere annoyance compared to the dreadful suffering inflicted upon this land and its people. Thank you, Vritra. You've given us warm reassurance in a world gripped by cold uncertainty. The last well, I'm sure we all have hope. a great many questions. I think it's time we collect the talismans and be on our way. Our fight against the Talophoroi is far from finished. Pretty a moment. There is one whom my sire hath judged worthy of honor and respect. The one known to men as Aorzea's champion. This hero of renown and rumor, tis thee. Yes. I only wish he could be with him here with us now. I know of his clash with Omega, and the long slumber which was his price. Yet even closed in sleep, my father's eyes are far from blind. He is watching over thee, watching over this world. T'was a revelation most pleasing that thou, a child of man, had gained Midgard's summer's trust, but alongside my elation runneth a rivulet of dread. For upon thy life's reel wind too many threads of fate, power, wheel enmeshed with woe. 
I see. Amidst this tangled knot, thou shalt know no rest. Tis an endless confluence of forces, a struggle without surcease. Wadola, could have mentioned this too. More terrible still is the attrition wrought upon thy companions, as they are swept up in the storm of thine existence. God damn it. Even those that aren't my companions, I still hold them close. Take heart and protect them well. They will be your strength and your salvation. The hope thou will need come the end. Even cowering behind my curtain, I know the suffering of the powerful. I have watched my siblings driven mad by loss. Thus do I exhort thee to spare no effort to keep thy loved ones safe. Apologies. We hadn't meant to interrupt. It's just that we do have a history of suddenly collapsing, and when you didn't follow us out... Tis I who must apologize. I have detained your champion over long with idle chatter. Go. At war's end, I pray I welcome thee back into my hall. Where together with thy joyful comrades, you may toast your triumph. I only hope, Vitra. Thank you. Took your time. Got turned around, I take it. Holy crap. Jesus Christ. This place is ginormous. What in the fuck? Is that the Excitatron 5000? Soon to be replaced by the Excitatron 6000? Cutscene. These are the talismans we were promised. Yes, and I made a quick count. There are far more than we could have hoped for. Enough to make future Enough side to bleed. An entire company of soldiers, in fact. Considering the involved process, that they were able to manufacture so many in such a short span of time is nothing short of a miracle. Once we have distributed them to our allies in Eorzea and the Far East, we'll have a fighting chance to bring down the other spires. Just as we did with the Tower of Zot. Or we could use them to invade Garlemald proper and strike directly at the Telophoroi's base of operations. Please, I must speak with you. Hello. Up and at him already, huh? Nidana, you're awake. Yes. When I spoke with the carer at my bedside, she told me that one of the scions, a young woman, had cleansed me of the tower's corruption. It seems I'd been asleep ever since the treatment. But when I awoke and learned you were all still here, I knew I had to come. As you said, Nidana was captured only recently. Such a brief exposure is swiftly cured, so I tended to her before we gathered at Megaduta. And I am truly grateful that you did. I cannot thank you enough. 
all of you, for everything you've done. Destroying the tower, rescuing our people. You've saved Havnir from an awful fate. <laughs> yeah! Yet who hath truly saved whom? Due in no small part to thine inspirational courage, the alchemists were successful in reproducing warding scales of proven efficacy. Replications of thy work now stand ready to travel across the seas unto the hands of those who might wield them against this rising evil. Talisman? Is this true? Yeah. My friends and I took out that tower real quick with it. With them. Oh, I was so groggy from sleep. I didn't even think to ask. Oh, our great work sent across the seas. It was worth it. Oh, it was all worth it. The flower. Look at that. Its color is completely changed. What do you have there? A heart bloom. The flower that. How unusual. I wonder if the effect is a reaction to Akasha. Akasha? I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that term. Akasha? It is one of the unseen energies defined by Hanish alchemical theory. Though a gross oversimplification, some describe it as an essence influenced by feelings. You imply that it is distinct from ether. Our foreign scholars often conflate the two but we see them as separate concepts. Ether is an energy which permeates the land. It exists within animals, objects, even the air we breathe, affecting all through which it flows. Akasha, on the other hand, exists in a domain beyond our reach, a gift bestowed from on high or torn from the heavens in some traditions. Hey. <laughs> Akasha can neither be created nor destroyed. It is beyond our power to purposefully alter or manipulate. The only thing observed to influence it is an abundance of, I want to say, spiritual emotion. As a veteran of the mm. battlefield, surely you've experienced moments of desperation or Exaltation when you've transcended the usual limits of your capabilities. That uh, is a break. manifestation of Akasha, the invisible essence harnessed by heart, mind, and unyielding spirit. I really must hear more about this theory. Our disciplines are based entirely upon the idea that ether is the fundamental form of all energy. I'm glad my haphazard explanation has piqued your interest. <laughs> but even Speak for fine us, too. Akasha is a somewhat abstract field of study. A lack of practical application lends itself poorly to formalized research. But it's an energy that can spread through camaraderie. Which is why my analysis of your flower can amount to little more than idle speculation. I am sorry. Nonsense. You have nothing to be sorry for. Your insight is much appreciated. Hey, you know, let me pocket my little light source. Shall we depart for Charlian then? I will see to it that the talismans arrive at the annex. And we will be in touch once our talks are concluded. I suggest you rest while you can. 
From here onward, sleep is bound to be in short supply. Welcome back, Regina. Cryer has surprised me of your recent accomplishments. What an amazing feat to eliminate a tower and pave the way to deal with the rest. Well, it isn't much. I've changed your sheets and plumped up your pillow. After all, there's nothing like collapsing in a nice clean bed after completing a major mile milestone. Be it a be it petting a thesis or defeating deiform entities. So, would you like to take a look at your new and improved lodgings now? Sure. Archon loaf. I got bread. This is probably not as hard as a rock. Lure. Take heart and protect them well. Ah! Good, you're here. You haven't eaten oh, yet, right. have you? <laughs> you turned that off. We've bought quite a spread if you're interested. Only the finest dining from the last stand. What? <laughs> what? I got a barge into my room though. <laughs> Can you just invite me? That's uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for being so thoughtful. I <laughs> always need this rest. Look at that burger. for happiness. Full moon there, what? That's good. Ah! Enjoying the bracing cold, I see. Do you not own a warm coat or a cloak? Something in fur? Or fashioned from the skins of your enemies. Or... Well, never mind that. I come to you once more as the bearer of bad news. Our tower in Thavner has been toppled. And I need not tell you by whom. Given how many we have at our disposal, the loss of a single spire is hardly fatal to our plans. It does, however, slow the rate at which we siphon ether. If they continue to preoccupy themselves with the towers, then all will be well. But should our foe prove bold enough to strike at us here, then the timing becomes... questionable. Our foe is bold enough. Of that, I can assure you. Ah, uh, yes. Very well, then. I suppose I must prepare a proper welcome. Honestly, talk of your nemesis is the only thing you seem to enjoy. Does nothing else spark your interest? Hmm. No. All else is... equal. Equally tedious. Equally disappointing. The world is a tepid bog into which we sink, too weak to thrash as the mud clings to our eyes and fills our throats till we blissfully choke. But then came the light, blinding and pure and hot, so very hot, enough to set my soul aflame. I basked in the afterglow, 
until the void yawned once more. And then I knew the muck would never claim me again. There was naught for me ahead, so I drew the curtain on all that had come before. Burn, burn, let the whole star burn. I will uh, have my I'm contest. Gonna out of the party I will chat, but reclaim I'll be back in a moment. Bit. Okay. See you okay, man. See you guys, man. Yep. How wonderful that the emptiness of death has not dissuaded you from committing your life to its pursuit once more. I don't know whether to envy you or pity you. You question my disinterest, but what of yours? Despite your noisome antics, I sense you take little pleasure in this endeavor. Mercy, my lord. Such pointed barbs from one who barely acknowledges my existence. Nevertheless, you are mistaken. For I do find this part somewhat enjoyable. You see, when I was mortal, I would always have the same dream. It was a fragmented thing. Disjointed. All the faces incomplete. The setting, too, was unknown to me. So I thought it simply a fantasy of my sleeping mind. Until one day, I realized it was showing me the truth. Much as your dream of the final days enlightened you, And soon, very soon, the rest of the world will see the truth of my dream, too. Yes, I think that is something we can both enjoy. <laughs> 